Hello everybody, welcome to Order of Battle and Seek and Paradox Gamer playing and we are about to start on Smolensk. Scenario, it's still August 1943. The Red Army has launched a massive offensive against Army Group Center. It aims to retake Smolensk, the gateway to Moscow. So this is where things got really, really bad in real life after the defeat around Kharkov. Army Group Center pretty much collapsed at this point and uh, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen in the game here. So the situation of Army Group Center is desperate. Just weeks ago a ferocious Soviet offensive began, aiming to wipe our forces from the Smolensk and Bryansk regions. If they achieve this goal, it will crush our hope for a final victory on the Eastern Front. Berlin has declared several towns in this area 45 places, but with our resources stretched to the limit, we can hardly hold off the Soviet steamroller. Right now the enemy is mounting furious assaults in an attempt to break through our forward positions and retake Smolensk. In the south, the town of Yelnya has been surrounded and will not hold out for much longer. This will open another gap in our lines, surely to be exploited by the Soviet forces attacking between Yelnya and Roslav. In the north, Soviet units are already in a position to drive deep into our territory towards Rutnia and Vitebsk. Given the strength of the Soviet attacks, the initial front line is likely to break soon, so we need to rely on a flexible defense to hold Smolensk and other strategic locations in the area. Be warned that partisans are operating behind our lines. This threat must be neutralized swiftly to allow the deployment of reinforcements. The Regional Abwehr Command is gathering intelligence to locate some of the partisan groups, hopefully before these can cause considerable damage. Primary objectives, do not lose Smolensk, Rytnia or Gorky. Smolensk, Rytnia and Gorky. Smolensk is not that far away from the front, front line, so that will be something we need to defend fiercely. Also, hold or recapture two secondary VPs. So we got one, two, three. Three of those, and we need to have two of those at the end of the game. And the secondary objectives is to destroy 12 tanks. The Soviet tank crew will be less experienced in future operations and destroy three partisan units in 10 turns. Eliminating the partisan nuisance will instantly free up additional resources and a reconnaissance unit in a future operation. So instantly free up additional resources. That means we have to deal with the partisans as swiftly as, as we can. Panther, a unit equipped with the brand new Panther tank has been added to your core, but it will take some more time and resources to bring it up to full strength. Also, Commander enlisted Hans Sandrock, a new commander, is available. Transfer resources. Do you want to transfer 100 points from the Wehrmacht to the Waffen SS? Again, that is a no. Okay. And it looks like the uh, commander is assigned automatically to the Panther. Okay, so this is going to be a full-scale Soviet assault on all fronts and our job is to try and stem the tide, a bit like the previous scenarios. So I like to have a f defensive line all the way back here, this river coming up here, going around this way, around this way, up to Smolensk, and then up this river here. This is my defensive line. And so we need to uh, allocate some units to the north. There is uh, some units will be uh, destroyed right off the bat. I think this one here, the German infantry, they will not survive. Um, mm -mm. At least some of the units here, the AT gun here, for example, will not get out of that position. And some other units here will also be destroyed. Obviously these guys in the pocket here will all die. But I'll try to salvage the others. To counter the um, partisan attacks, we will put our 
armored car back here. There is a partisan right here that we can see, and um, we have to to kill three of them. So we'll have to find them first, and then uh, kill them as soon as possible. So let's start here in the north. Uh, so these guys are gonna die. These guys are okay. I think we want the SS up here. And they can start around here. And then we want a combination of a Panzer IV and a Stuk. That should be enough to hold this position up here. So Panzer IV. Now we can see the upgrades. Uh, it's pretty much upgradable to anything, but the only thing that will be worth upgrading to is the um, Panther Mark A or the Tiger. And both of them will cost about 200 and 220 points. And that's uh, something I cannot afford. So I'm going to stick with the uh, regular Panzer IV types here and we'll put a Stuk up here as well. I don't think artillery will be necessary in this area. Um, this will be highly contested, this area down here, so we'll need some artillery. I will put um, the SS artillery down here. There is also a naval wafer. And we also have some artillery here. I think we can get this one back home. And then we'll add the regular artillery piece as well to the mix there. For the aircraft, I think we want this one somewhere around here. I will deploy the Tiger down here because we're going to need it. The attack down here is going to be pretty hard and we don't have enough troops to keep them out of the fray. Um, so the combination Tiger and Modder would be very good. So we can add the Tiger here. And then let's get the T-34 up here. That should probably go all the way up to full strength. And if we have some infantry, we should get the tanks out first. might want them on the other side here just to be able to stop the Soviets. Um, mm, 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 mm. So the Panzer IV. There. And the Stug over here. And we need to get the Panther up to full strength as well. And that leaves us with another 11 points, so we cannot get all the infantry down. We need some more infantry down here though. There's a heavy, and we need another heavy. Somewhere around here. And... Is that enough? I probably need more, but I'm probably have to gonna wait until we get some more resources. We can get six points in. So either one heavy or two infantry units. I think I'm gonna go with two infantry. One there. One there. Maybe up there, okay. So, then we have the air units. I will deploy all the fighters up here. In the center.
and the stalk. And then we can actually get ourselves a Stuka. But we're gonna have to wait uh, deploying it until we have a control over the skies, but we can uh, we can get it up here. And that's it. The Soviets will move first. So we'll see how many units they will actually defeat in the initial assault. Let's go. The game will probably freeze because there's a lot of units, but uh, we have some artillery barrage to start with. And then here comes the infantry. They are attacking in the north. I have a machine gun nest there, you can see that actually. And the Yelnia pocket is getting attacked as well. They usually go for the machine gun nest first, which is also the case here. We got artillery and Katusha. And they might survive the first turn, but I don't think they will survive the second. They are completely surrounded. Just keep coming here. Panzer's down to one. Go back up to the central area. Another machine gun nest will be wiped out. And yet another one here. Assault engineers attack the concrete bunker. It's a nice distraction with the bunkers because they are usually firing on the bunkers first before they attack other nearby units. Oh, the AT gun is getting hit here. It will not survive. Back in the north, the machine gun nest is getting destroyed there as well. You can see more armor approaching. Now this unit up here is probably going to get wiped out. Because there's just too many enemy units around. So they're supposed to die. They will be fall back and then some other unit will come forward and take them out. There we go. They're dead. And the remaining machine gun nests will also be taken out here. Engineers will attack the Marda. I would like to get the Marda, the artillery and the T-34 out if possible. Here comes a KV-1. No, that's a KV-2. Attacks the T-34. And if it can, yeah, get out of there. I think we can save it. Yeah, strip is lost. And here comes the bombers. Attacking the martyr. 
and the AT gun. And here comes the fighters. Two fighters. Three fighters. Four. Four fighters, two bombers. Abwehr staff. Our regional Abwehr headquarter at the outskirts of Smolensk is evaluating critical intelligence. If threatened by the enemy, its staff will be evacuated and your command bunker will have to be demolished. That actually doesn't matter because it just means this bunker will be destroyed and it has no other effect on the game. So uh, let's start in the back here. If I remember correctly, there is a partisan unit down here, yes. So we'll just attack that with the Stuka. And with the SS. And let's just bring the Panzer IV down. They won't die from that unless these guys can reach. They can. Great. That was the first one. We need to take out three partisans. These guys are gonna come back. And we'll bring the uh, Stuk back to here. These guys are gonna come back as well. To the other side of the river. So we also have vision on this partisan unit here. Which we can reach from this one. the Bautruppe hmm. if we go in there we can support this attack right, so we'll take out this guy next turn and then we still have to find one more partisan unit let's go down in the south these guys will evacuate This way, this way. I'll have to put up some kind of defense, so let's get the artillery down. There. Hang on, let's see. These guys would go over here. And we'll have the AT gun behind it, and the naval valve will be there. Let's get that forward a little bit to here. And then we have the T-34 coming in here. And these guys are protecting the bridge, but they can actually start on the other side. Well, they should go here. That takes us to the center. <clears throat> So we have one fighter here. Let's try and take that down. Let's go here with the uh, half track. And that takes it out. Now we'll just start working on the second. Fighter. Let's get the stalk up here. Now, let's see how much we can evacuate from here. This one is pretty dead. Let's get the Mata 2 over here. Horse transport there, get these guys out of the way as well. This one too. The 
Alright, how far back can we get these guys? They can come back to here. So let's get the T-34 over there. And these guys will go over there. If I go down here, I can still come out this way. And I will help defend a little bit over here. So they will go there. It doesn't really matter with the puck. We can just leave it in place. It will die no matter what. Okay, then we have these guys. Just leave them here for now. Okay. Artillery will stay there as well. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, Soviet turn two. The Yelnia pocket will be destroyed. And the game is frozen, so I have to talk you through it. We have the uh, artillery barrage as from before, mainly hitting the concrete bunkers. Enemy bomber hits the Marder 2 on the bridge. I don't think it's gonna survive that. Another bomber here attacks the concrete bunker. We, we see three bombers now. Four bombers. So four enemy bombers, and they have three fighters. The AT gun is bombed to death. Now the fighters will probably go for the Fokker Wolf. No, they're going for one of the Messerschmitts. Just taken down to four. They have one more. But that heads back to base. Okay. In the far north, they are coming forward. There's uh, nothing stopping them. T-60 attacks the martyr on the bridge. And it it uh, runs back towards the enemy line. So that's probably going to die. I don't see it survive this round. Yeah, it's dead. Bye bye Marder. Now they still have to finish off the concrete bunker. So they will spend some time doing that. That's the first one. The Yelnia pocket, you can actually see this, that's good. The Yelnia pocket is still alive. Just need one more hit. There we go. So that's the end of that. Okay. Still one more concrete bunker. So they are working on that now. Thirty-four coming into sight. Another one in the back. And here comes the engineers. They will finish off the bunker. Cool. All right. So now all the bunker systems have been destroyed. Let's start in the air. Let's send the stalk over here just to see what we're dealing with. There you go. Um, so we have two enemy fighters. Start firing on this one. Hmm, 
Should we stay up? I guess it depends on how much damage we can give this one. Three. No, it's too uh, too dangerous. Let's get it back to safety. And then concentrate on... Yeah, let's take out this one. So two fighters eliminated. Let's get these guys out of here. I think this 76mm uh, is going to die as well. So we are falling back now. How far back can we go? We can go to here and there. There. And we'll just fall back to here. Do we want to move these guys? That's a good question. I guess we can move them next turn. The 76mm might survive if they don't know it's there. They don't have many ways of attacking it. So I think we'll keep the line here for now. In the north. These guys will move back across the river and dig in. Get the Panzer IV back up here. Replenish. Start working on these guys. Put this guy back here. And the SS up here. And now we need to find out where the rest of the uh, partisans are. Also need to destroy that one. Let's use the bow trooper for that. So we're done in the north, we're done in the center, let's go in the south. Try to get the martyr back. Get these guys out of the way. Go over there. Now this defense is looking better. No, it's not getting any better than this. Well, we can get the martyr up here, so we can move these guys forward a little bit. And then have the AT gun there. That's good. And hopefully we'll get the last partisan, partisan unit soon, so we can um, get those extra guys in to help. Okay. So, Soviet turn 3. Question is, will the 76mm survive? It's getting bombed, so probably won't. It's 2 damage. I'm bombing some infantry as well. You can see this. 0 damage. They do have 4 bombers. The fighter attacks the Focke Wolf. They have another fighter, it might come back. No, it didn't. So the machine gun nest down here will get destroyed pretty easily. As we can see here, it's already gone. And here they come. But I've already vacated the area. Oh. They can actually get cut off. Using the T-34. 
we'll see. Okay, here is uh, the death penalty for the 76mm. Wait, it was only possible because of the bombing. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to. So in the north, here comes the T-34, lots of infantry. We've got some artillery. Self-propelled. And that looks like a KV-1. T-30, T-70, T-60, I think. Arriving here in the center, you can see it. Might be a 70. The rest are just too far back to uh, to reach my lines. It's another bomber attacking the T-34. Okay. So they have one fighter here, and the other one is back east. And then we see three bombers in this area. So my priority is to take out the fighter first. And I will probably not be able to use this one as it has to evacuate out. It depends on the evacuation. So let's start on the ground this time. I could do this just to... Uh, yeah, to completely destroy it. But I have to get back here somehow. But that will destroy this unit. Let's do it. There we go. When such an opportunity arises, you should take it. Okay, so let's see. Get the T-34 out of the way. And then we have to get these guys back. This one will get out of the way. Let's put a defense on the front side of the river first. Because I can't get uh, everyone back anyway. Something like this. The question is... No, I gotta get this guy out of the way. Unfortunately. Let's put him here. And let's take him up here and take a shot on the bomber. These guys back Go over there. Okay. Uh, artillery will be in range when they uh, get up to this point. So let's see. Okay, we have to take out the fighter with everything we have here. And it's not enough. Damn it. Okay, maybe it'll stick around. But most probably it will fly away. But then all the bombers will be without escorts. Uh, this fighter has to go back to full strength. The Bautube will send up this way. There's an encore. In the north, it's just a question of digging in now. We don't have to move anything. I think we'll keep the stalk around here just to see what's going on. We've got some vision. We do have the bomber though. 
start working on the KV-1. And we have to find some more... Partisans. Oh, there's one there. Okay. Not helping, <laughs> because the others are not in that position. These guys will dig in here. And get the martyr back here. Everybody dig in. Wait. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Soviet turn four. So they're bombing my AA gun, which can actually defend itself. So two damage to the AA gun and one or two damage to the plane. The partisans are fighting back. So I can either send up the other Panzer wagons or I can just find another uh, another partisan somewhere else. More bombings of my airfield. And the Panther is also getting bombed. No damage. Yeah, two damage actually. Ouch. And the fighter scoots out of there. It's had enough. And we see a T-34 in the south. Oh, you can't see this. Okay, T-34 coming and uh, in infantry arriving as well. They will attack the machine gun nest first. the center they are crossing the bridges taking one of the secondary objectives in the process so now it's Smolensk is the next target but that is heavily defended and should hold in the north I now you can see we got a T-34 attacking my heavy infantry They are not defended by the Stuka, unfortunately. But the heavy infantry is uh, in a good position there. Well dug in. The KV-1 is moving forward. So we can try and cut it off. More forward movement in the center. But they haven't quite reached my lines yet. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's see if we can find... This is probably not gonna... It's gonna take too long. I need to find out, find some other partisans. Unless I just go up for that one. Okay, I bump into someone else. Let's go for that one then. We should be able to take it out next turn, but I'm gonna move this one around just in case. Oh, there's one there too. So we're going to go for this one, which hopefully I can take out next turn, and I can get my reinforcements. In the south, we're going to put some mines here. Let's take the air battle first. So the fighter is gone, and we can get this fighter up back into action, but can't reach this turn. And the other three fighters can go for, let's see, let's get uh, get this guy back behind. Take a shot. Take this one out. 
start working on the others. So one bomber down, and we are working on number two. I don't know if we're gonna use this flak, so let's just uh, let's just spend the eight points, get it back up to full strength. Artillery here, get it up to full strength. T thirty four, get it up to four. Artillery still can't reach anything. Um, so. Get these guys back, replenish. Go back to the airfield, come back here, Panther, replenish. guys over here to form a line. The Bautruppe, where do we want them? I don't know, here maybe. <clears throat> now these guys, get them back over here. Fall back and replenish here. So, They uh, they're gonna get the foxhole no matter what, but let's uh, let's start shelling these guys. Okay, they're still alive. Try with the foxhole. Well, I can't really get to them then. I can uh, fire my mortar. I can try that. I can do the same here. No. So they're gonna survive. Up here. I'll simply just replenish these guys. Take a shot there with the Panzer and get the Stuck in behind to support both the infantry and the Panzer. These guys are digging in, awaiting the action of the KV-1, which will just take down a notch again with this uh, Stuka. I think that's the turn. Hopefully we can take out this partisan unit and get the much needed reinforcements in. So we turn five. <clears throat> Bomber returns to base. The partisans actually attack me. You can see that there. Okay, so we will definitely get the uh, secondary objective this turn. I wonder if they can take Rutnia. Well, they can go in there, but they can't actually take it. Back in the south. The empty foxhole is getting destroyed. In the center, you can see this now. They keep moving over the bridges, but uh, they have a hard time getting to me, to my actual lines. Here comes the first one, that's a T-34. Attacking my infantry on the airfield. The T-70 moves in a direction that I do not like. Because I got no defenses over there. I might have to shift my Stuk up, up that way. Just to stop it. 
Now we see the effectiveness of the Stug behind the infantry. And the KV-1 takes the town in the north. I'm going to cut it off. I'll try to amass some more infantry. Actually, I cannot cut it off if these guys are in the way. So that's a pretty good move. Enemy artillery shelling my Marder. And the last foxhole is getting attacked. Yeah, the infantry on the airfield is going to get attacked again. And they are moving back. Will he take the airfield? Yes, he will. Not a problem. Here comes the other bombers. So they have two bombers active here. And that's the fighter. So I will take out the fighter. And that's too close. Soviet partisans have launched a raid against Rutnia. While they cannot hold the city for long, they managed to weaken our supply reserves in the city. Evacuated. As the enemy is closing in on Smolensk, our Abwehr staff has been evacuated after blowing up their own command bunker. So we did lose a little bit of uh, supply. But I think they will disperse as soon as I do this. <laughs> That's pathetic. Okay, then as soon as I do this. Yes, partisans retreat. Soviet partisan units retreat into the forest after taking heavy casualties. The rear areas are secure now, allowing us to deploy more reserves onto the battlefield. So, okay, so no major harm done. And this one is actually ready to go. Okay. So we got 10 more command points, which means we can deploy our remaining forces. These two. So we got a heavy infantry that we need up here, I think. And then we have some engineers that I think we'll need down here. Up here? No, I think we're okay up here. I think we're gonna need it down here. Okay, let's start in the sky. This one can take a shot, and it will. This one has to move, and I don't think it can fire and move. Yes, if it only moves one hex, so that will also take a shot. No effect, it looks like. Okay, so my fighters... This one will take out the enemy fighter, hopefully. Yes. There's another plane over here, which I think is a bomber. A full-strength bomber. Let's get rid of this one. One more bomber down. I think they still have a fighter. There was one fighter that... Oh, was it the one that came back? I think maybe I have all the four fighters and they still have a couple of bombers. Let's take the stalk over here to see what we're dealing with. Yeah, that's an uh, IL-2 and 3 At uh, 5 strength. I think that's heading back to base. Alright, we can cut this one off. Alright, KV-1 destroyed. I think I'll leave the stook here. These guys will simply... Yeah, just get rid of them there. So the stook will just get back to 10. And we are pretty much getting control of, of the situation up in the north. We have to dispatch the stook to here. A 
That's where the T60 is, and we have to pull back. In the center. We got artillery. So let's fire on this one. Move these guys back. Replenish. Let's retake the airfield. The Panther is still alive and doing well. And it's starting to dig in there, so that's gonna be good. Keep working on the T-34 over here. Push these guys back. And then in the south. Get these guys up here. Okay. We can't see much, so we'll just attack these guys with the artillery. Destroy those guys. Get the Mara back to full. And then we have some engineers. Where do we want them? Well, we can't move them this turn, okay. One MG Foxhole left. And I think that's it. What about the stalk? Did we move, them? move down there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good. These guys have moved. Okay. Soviet turn five it is. No, six. Turn six. So we still got a couple of bombers. We'll push in the south. T-34, the Mata will protect. Nice. A lot of uh, attacks on the heavy infantry down there, but it's holding. Back in the center. They're pushing in to close in on uh, Smolensk. And attacking the T-34, yes, but that will hold. Definitely hold. In the north we have, uh, you can see this now, another attack on my infantry. They need to hold this position until we have stemmed the tide in the far north. So the T-34 is almost dead. T-60 moves straight down. And now they're fleeing in the far north. They still have that artillery piece, as well as they have down here. Okay, he does one damage to the Tiger, but that almost kills that tank completely. And he really wants to get that MG Foxhole, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Alright. It's gone. And they're still pushing. Duke is getting attacked. What about the Panther? No, it's too strong. But they might attack the infantry there in the center. Yep. Oh, that's nasty. Being pushed back. And the bomber attacks the T-34. Uh, Two damage. Okay. 
Um, so they have two bombers. One is at five over here. So let's take that out first. And the others will start working on the remaining bomber, which is down here. Take it down to three. And I think those were the uh, air assets of the enemy units, the enemy army. I think we go up here. Like that. I'm going to come down here. We might be able to take out the T-34 completely. Hmm. These guys are pretty strong. Okay, we'll just wait. Let's replenish. We got more coming here. Let's take them down this way. And replenish here as well. Here. We're gonna cut this one off and take him out. And we're gonna try and defend this side of the river. We can start sending the others up as well. Maybe we should evacuate to the other side because we are continuously getting uh, getting attacked. Get this one out of the way. Bring this one back to six. That will be a problem over here though, if I do that, if I go back to the other side of the river, I need something strong to defend over here, which could be the panther, I guess. Then we'll put the heavy infantry with some panzer support, get this one out of the way as well. Hmm. I don't know. This guy, anyway, is going back here. And then we got these guys coming back to full. And then what? It's a bit risky because they cannot take Smolensk under any circumstances. So I think I'm gonna continue to defend on the other side like this Decision made. We gotta stick to it. Over here we can destroy the T-38. Let's do that. And that takes us to 3 out of 12 armor destroyed. Down in the south. doesn't seem to be a heavy push down this way so I think they'll just stay here for now um, here 
artillery barrage there, there. Let's take out the SU-85, not quite though. These guys over here. It's a bit of micromanagement here because they're going to keep coming, and I just need to stretch my resources as well as possible. I could do this, but they won't be cut off, so I'm not going to do it. Where is the stalk? The stalk is here, I've already moved it, okay. So, Soviet turn 7. The remaining P2 bomber goes further south and uh, attacks the Tiger. No damage. So I will take out that one in the last, in the next turn. SS is getting hit, but they can take it. <coughs> T-34 had enough. And my infantry in the north are holding on. In the south, as you can see now, they still have uh, the mobile artillery unit. which is doing uh, heavy damage to me. And there's a T-34 arriving as well. Hope, hopefully the AT gun will make sure that it's, yeah, stopped. And I saw another armor arrive in the center. They keep sending units across the river. attacked by the Soviets on the T-34, but not effective. Katusha attacking the Tiger, and the T-34 decides to go down and take the town instead of attacking. And there's another armor approaching, and I couldn't really see what it was. Heavy infantry is still holding in the south, although they need some, uh, some help soon. I have some engineers on the way. Hopefully they can do something. KV-2? I don't know where the heck that's going. But there's a fresh T-34 arriving as well. And some more infantry. We might be able to cut these guys off. Maybe not. Uh, the Stuk should get out of that situation. It's not ideal for a Stuk to be in infantry combat. And they have a fresh fighter now. I think I have all my fighters available. Let's do that first. Let's see, where are the other fighters? They are all the way up here, but they can reach. No. Not all of them. Well, this one can. This one can't get there. I think we got it. Okay, so I got uh, two fighters heavily damaged and two not damaged. But I don't think there's uh, any more enemy aircraft. Take the stalk down this way. So we can actually just use it to 
do some straving runs. Let's get the Stug out of the way. Anyway, let's start up here in the north. We have cut off the SU-76M and as such it is in uh, pretty big trouble now. Let's bomb these guys. So the question is, what do I do with the Stuk? I can't get these guys anyway. But we can get it across to here. It depends on what do we actually do here. Can we get those guys out? Yes, okay, so get the Stuk around this way. This one will stay put. This one over here, this one up here. I'm trying to hold the line around this place. Okay, artillery, fire on these guys and these guys. Let's take out this one. And this one. Replenish the heavies and these guys and we have an extra unit now that we can play around with. Let's do it this way then. That's the best way to uh, defend the Stuk I guess. Counterattack these bastards up here. Leave the bow trooper there, get these guys back to full. Do I continue to put points into this one? Maybe. Okay, so what we could do here is make a sneak attack this way. That will open up the uh, front here, but I think we're okay. Does not seem to be any pressure on that part of the front. Get them back across. And then we can come down here with the T-34 and get that up to an 8. So here in the south, we could put more mines. And then get them around. Yeah, we can do that. Put mines over there, get them back, then out of the river and they could drive around this road here. Now, over here... I think we'll simply replenish them in place. Get the engineers forward. Oh, by the way, they have that bomber here. Yeah, but I've used all my fighters. Well, I've used three of them. I forgot they have a, a bomber here. Maybe we can... Yeah, we can take this one down. Not enough to take it out. But it's down to two. Okay, so the tiger will rest in place. Waiting for the next onslaught. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So we turn eight. The P2 is trying to return to base, but uh, <laughs> it ends right next to all my fighters. So we'll take that out. And that's the end of the enemy aircrafts. In the north. Some vague attacks. 
they're not gonna make it. T-34 comes, you know, it doesn't reach me. So I think the Stuk can take care of it. I think I forgot to replenish my uh, SS though. Or did they attack? I'm not sure. In the center we have more reinforcements arriving. Attacking my infantry in the area. And they have a key position, that infantry unit, just to the east of the, uh, of the town. Um, so they're gonna get a lot of flak there, but uh, so far they're holding. T-34 replenishes. In the south, the artillery... Yes, you artillery is uh, shelling me still. I don't think I can get to it though. Still lots of enemy uh, units around. See, Katusha also firing, and they got engineers approaching. But I have my T-34 right there. Stop them! And there's a KV trying to cross. I have to respond to that. I think I should uh, take my heavy infantry out of the way now. Build them up again. Now, they've been holding the position pretty well. Still more infantry moving around in the center. I got plenty of those. And the fresh T-34 arrives, attacking my heavies, but right next to my Panther. And they have heavy infantry also. Yeah, it's a tough job holding this position. It looks like uh, we'll make it, actually. The KV-2 is somehow stuck on the other side of the river. Oh, now it went into the river. And the Commander Manfred Eisenberger is out for two turns. Let's just start in the air. We can take out the P-2. And let's start heading back to base, but I will not land on this one, so I have to use the other one in the back. Where's the last one? That's up here. Let's get the stalks straight down so we can see what's going on down here. There's a 76mm artillery there. Okay. Get back on the road. Hmm. I think we'll take the martyr down. Hit it with some artillery first. That should stop it. Tiger will take this shot. Get those back to five. Attack on these guys. And we could take the AT gun forward and destroy that T-34, at least push it back. Plenish this one. So I think we'll uh, bring these guys down as well. That leaves us open up here, but it looks like we were okay. They're not really coming through this direction. In the center, 
Hmm. It's not as bad as it looks. There is the KV-2 coming soon. Let's push forward with the uh, Panthers. And artillery shelling these guys. And these guys. Pull these guys out of the front line. Get these guys in. And take a shot here. Replenish these guys. Down to 69 points now. Mm, let's just take out this T-34, shall we? Take out that one. Yeah, let's use this one to uh, push through to here. Damage these guys some more. Let's bring this one over here. I'm not gonna take it up anymore. This is too expensive. Uh, but let's see up here. So we're gonna do this and this. And this. Unfortunately, the T-34 is down here, so I can't get to it. There it is. Um, so instead of attacking these guys, opening myself up to the T-34, I'll re replenish these guys instead and get some reinforcements down. Bring these guys across. Just keep them here in the back. Okay. Uh, I haven't used this one though. Let's uh, attack here. The Stuka. Now, Danidov is open, but um, I don't see any enemy units around. Okay, let's go to turn 9, Soviet. So it's crossed the river in the north, and here comes the T-34. It will attack my infantry. Does not push them back. Okay, that's a good move. I should have taken them further away. In the center, they're crossing the river, attacking my disorganized infantry behind the river. So I will easily push them back, though. South, the enemy artillery fires on my tiger still. <clears throat> I might have to relocate it. T-34 keeps getting hit. The Mada is shot by the KV, but deals more damage. Now you can see, the Katusha is still there and will fire on the Marder. Back in the center, got some engineers attacking my infantry. The KV-2 should be there as well. Or maybe it used this turn to get into up from the river. Yeah, I think so. T-34 destroys itself. I 
think this is the last of the enemy reserves. We've got one more infantry incoming, attacking the armored car. And there's the KV-2 as well. Yeah. Looks like they're running out of steam here in the center. And the north is completely fallen. But it's still strong in the south. I've taken six tanks now. Italy invaded. Allied forces have conducted a landing operation in Reggio de Calabria at the southern tip of Italy. The fighting has been somewhat limited too far, or so far, suggesting a larger invasion will soon take place further north. Uh, right. Let's just land my planes. Let's get the stalk down here so we can see what we're dealing with. There's a KV-85. Oh, that's nasty. Where's the last fighter? That's here. Bring it back. Let's start in the south because that's where I need my points the most. I was thinking about moving across here, but with a KV-85 nearby, I don't think I'm going to do that anyway. So we're going to move these guys around. Um, and fully replenish these guys. I have some extra infantry, I really need them. Push back these guys. Take these guys back. Alright, let's move them out on the bridge <clears throat> and then into here. Destroying those guys in the process. And I'm thinking about relocating the T-34 somewhere else, which would be over here. I really need something there. Could also use these guys. That's not a bad idea. That means I will leave my fortified position, but I think it's worth it. So we'll do this, push them out of the way. And then the Tiger can come in here and shoot on the SU-85. Still alive though. And this guy back here. The artillery will rest for this turn. And we still have the AT gun which will remain in place around here I think. Yeah. And then there's this. Let's take the shot. Okay, that was the south. Still got 19 points left. Let's take the center. Artillery can rest this turn. We can use the, K the uh, T-34 to push these guys back. The armored cars can uh, tour around and take out stragglers. Just take these guys back. One damage to the KV. the heavies up here. They still got a lot of units but uh, they're in pretty bad shape. Let's 
Take out the stragglers. So I don't think I need to replenish these guys. We're okay. Did I move the plane? Yeah. Now up here. Let's get the SS out of the river. And replenish. I don't think I need to replenish up here. These guys are dead. We can do this and then do that. Move into the road and take them out. These guys will stay put, regain organization, and I think that's it for the turn. So artillery everywhere is reloading, cooling off the barrels. Still a lot of pressure coming down here. Soviet turn 10. In the center, attacking one of the armored cars, no damage. Still have that KV-2, and some fresh infantry just arrives, attacking the Panther, but no damage. Shifting some infantry around, replenishing some. Here comes the KV-2 versus the Panther. One damage each and it disorganizes the panther. But I do have air support and artillery ready for next turn. In the south, the tiger gets hit again by the enemy artillery. And the AT gun is hit by the paratroopers. And they do have some more infantry there attacking the tiger. KV-85 is not moving. For some reason. Yeah, now it comes. Enemy artillery moves up. The Katusha keeps firing as well. We can make an artillery uh, contest out of that. They keep pushing my T-34s back, but eventually they will run out of uh, steam. And that's okay. Red Steel. Our forward units report several new or modernized Soviet armored vehicles being sighted on the battlefield for the first time, including a new heavy tank model. Yeah, that's the KV-85. That's a pretty nasty mofo. So where do we want the leader here? Let's put him in there. Move up, take out these guys. Yeah, move them out on the road and then move this one here and take out these guys. Finally gone. And then down here I should probably Katusha these guys. And then get them out of there. Hopefully I can get to that issue 122 soon because it's a pain in my butt, so to speak. Okay, so what we could do here is challenge the Katusha with my own artillery. And it shouldn't be a big problem anymore. Get the tiger back. I think we can destroy this one. Apparently not. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, the tiger can hold the line. Let's do this. So, where is the stalk? Let's see what they have down here. Okay, they got plenty. So I'm not gonna just charge across. Okay. Land the plane. So I got all my fighters down here. Not sure if I'm ever gonna need them again. I certainly don't have points to replenish them, but two of them are at nine strength, so we can get them up and running in case we need it. So artillery is back in online here. I will try and hit the KV and the fresh infantry. So the uh, stook should be good against it. Yes. We got no enemy nonsense down here. This is gonna be easy. Take out that one. Take out that one. Actually, we can use this airfield down here now. Come around with the Panzer. Check out the Straggler. We can even use the Bautruppe. We have them, might as well use them. Put some extra pressure on. These guys across. Yeah, it's starting to be uh, a real offensive here. So let's take these two and land them on the other airfield, which is closer, just in case we get enemy planes coming again. Take this town. All right, let's get the stuk across. Move everybody over. Looks like we got this. No enemies in the north, very few left in the center. But they still have some here in the south that we need to, uh, to deal with. So, Soviet turn 11. Katusha moves one hex and fires rockets. Let's see what the KV-85 does. The KV-2 moves up one hex, takes a shot at my Panzerwagen. And the infantry shoots at my Bautruppe. Yeah, this will all be wrapped up in the coming turn. I hate this artillery. Okay, here comes the KV-85. Okay, they're gonna... do some serious damage here. The Marders pushed back. Will they come onto the other side? Yes, they will. The KV-85 is firing on the heavies. And they're trying to cross over here. Good thing I brought the uh, engineers around. Okay, so here. Take a shot at that artillery. They have some heavy infantry there as well. Let's rest T-34 for now.
this is too uh, too good to be true. Let's get it get rid of that one. And these guys. Yep. Then come back across here. Fire all available artillery on it. Push it back. It's too bad I can't get out with uh, the tiger. Unless I do something like this. No. Let's just leave it there. And the tiger will just fire on this one. Okay, maybe I can reach the uh, artillery now. Let's come up here and see where is it. It's right there. Not the best odds, but I'm so tired of it fire firing at me, so I'm willing to do this. Protect the tiger with the AT gun. Further north. I don't even, even have anything in reach of my artillery, so let's get that further up here. Smolensk is safe. Let's wrap up this over here. Uh, yeah, just do this. I'm using my non-core units first. They will take some damage. Fire on the KV and the Stuk should be able to take it out. Cool. Another Stuk coming in here. Replenish the SS. Connect up here. And it's time to land the Stuka. So we need to take Kadu Novo back. Start approaching it slowly. Yeah. Got some enemy in there. Get around the side with this one. Let's do some stray running. Didn't do anything. We get the artillery uh, up and running next turn. We also have this one. Panzer IV, let's bring it forward a little bit. Okay. Still got 58 points. I don't think I need them. Soviet turn 12. Hang on, the uh, stalk. I have moved it, okay. Turn 12. Artillery fires. KV 85 goes into the river, fires on the heavies. And actually takes some damage because of the martyr. Two damage to the KV, with the tiger right next to it. That artillery is no longer a threat. Ooh, enemy fighter incoming. It will fire on my Messerschmitt. No fuck a wolf. Okay. Let's get these guys up as quickly as possible. I don't think they will make it. Let's 
it's already down to two. Now the artillery will open up here. Bring this one closer. Get some flanking. Open it up and take it. Take out the stragglers. And I don't see any enemy units at all anywhere. Let's just go down in the south. I want some vision down here. Nice job for the tiger there. Now we can take it out with these guys. All right, let's just uh, get them over this way. Now there's still this T-34 uh, down here. But it doesn't seem to be moving. Now let's take out the Katusha. I still need to destroy two tanks, but we have two tanks down here. So that should not be uh, an issue. Let's get back. Let's just get over here. What I could do is go over here. That would lure him to cut me off and then I got him with the uh, T-34, no, that's fine. Uh, up here, there's nothing. Bring this one back. Uh, he probably has artillery somewhere, so I do not want to get damaged by anything. So I can just leave all of this alone and hit the next turn. So we're at turn 13. Now you can see all of this. It's not a lot of enemy units. The plane is trying to uh, head back home. And the T-34 on the south is actually at full strength now. Okay. Let's bring the tiger down. And let's get the artillery in a better position. I'll just stay there. Okay, so how far can the... Okay, so let's go over there. I don't think we can reach it though. Yeah, it goes over there. Perfect. Take it out. Now we're getting very far forward. Let's see what they have. They do have a T-34 here, so I gotta be careful with that. Um, let's get this one up to full, just in case the T-34 tries to come through here. Get these guys to full strength as well. Uh, so that's a little issue there. Um, I'll let the uh, plane go. 
I don't have any problems with it. Let's get the Stuka up and just defend around it. Bring these guys back. Nothing else going on up here. So everything is going on down here. I do have enough turns to get those 12 A of these. Yeah, the T-34 does come this way. Okay. And I hear something else. That is a T-70. Attacking my Panzer IV. So that's also an option. Just take that out. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're gonna get it. It's just simply too far away. And they have some engineers there as well. Okay, let's go into the town. Bring the pander down here. Unless I just take it out with uh, with my Stuka. And then defend the Stuka. Let's go for the town first. Because if I take the town, they will be unsupplied completely. Now we do have that uh, <clears throat> T-34 up here, so I have to do something about that. It should be here. So let's get some artillery shelling on it. Fire with the AT gun. And bring the engineers back across. And the motor. We should have some... Yeah, that's the one. I don't think I'm gonna bother with it, though. Let's come back. Although I could go down this way. So that the T-34 does not escape. Let's come back here. So I need to take out one more tank in the remaining six turns. These guys are probably going to get hit by the engineers, but that's fine. That's also the enemy plane. Oh, another one of those. Try and lure it uh, closer. I just saw the plane somewhere out there. Let's uh, let's take the stalk up and see where is where is it? It's there. Let's try and take it out. It's just not enough, or maybe it is. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay. Now that frees up the Stuka. Fire on the SU-152. Get the 
these guys back across. I'll just let them come closer. And then down here. Iron Fist. As Soviet tank losses are mounting, the enemy will have to rely on less experienced tank crews and for future operations. Nice going. Just got back. Okay. All is quiet in the north. Go for the next turn. I still have this artillery piece over here. And they did have some infantry incoming as well. Yeah, we have the engineers. And some infantry over here. Plus that one. Okay. Ah, shoot. AA gun shooting. Get out of there. That's some unnecessary points, but okay. Let's come up here. Keep firing on that one. This one around. Okay, over here. Let's just finish off this one. Take this town. Now we just go on the defensive here and just let the last couple of turns roll. Oh, they got extra infantry. Okay. Well, the engineers are going to kill themselves. They're attacking my non-core units, which is great. Ah, oh, that's not great. It's really annoying. Take another hit. Get out. Right, take, uh, take out this guy. Move the panther up. There's no way to get the kill though. Or is there? We can do this. And then this. Nope, they're still in the way. Unless I have something super fast. Oh, not fast enough.
the next turn. One damage from the artillery. I just want to take out that one. I guess we can do that with the Stuka. With the Stuka, it's here. Or get a vision on that one. How much damage can the Stuka do here, too? Take out those two. I might get some damage from that 150mm, but I'm gonna pull back after this. So let's see how much damage it will actually give me. Turn 19. No, it replenishes. Okay. Axis broken. Shocked by the Allied threat to mainland Italy, the country has agreed to an armistice. German forces have begun to disarm their former comrades and rush to organize a coherent defense against further Allied advances. Alright, so let's just get these guys back. Get some more stars, maybe, by doing this. Last enemy turn. And do one more attack. And that's it. Victory. Complete victory has been achieved in the face of overwhelming odds. Hope is growing that with a few more of such victories, we will regain the initiative in this war. So, let's see. Allies of Salerno. As expected, a more determined Allied invasion is now targeting the port of Salerno, south of Naples. Simultaneously, a British airborne operation is underway against the main Italian naval base at Toronto. Four new specialization points, which gives me nine. I'm not interested in Bar Commander Becker or Organization Taught, so I'm gonna save up the nine points for later. Next up will be Sidomir Fastov. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.